very good evening to you. Morning even. Um, we're now in September. And today it's just a little project. Um, something that I've been meaning to play with and um, meaning to build really. Uh, just to help me check some uh, receivers. And what you're looking at on the uh, the bench is possibly the... Let's have a say, what, the, the dirtiest, simplest, cheapest, well, certainly not the cheapest um, circuit you could actually want for generating um, an RF signal. And let's have a quick look at it. Now, the biggest component on this particular board is a crystal. And it's just a standard, um, standard crystal uh, and it's designed to run at 10.7 megahertz and already I can hear all those in the know saying I know what you've built. Uh, yes what I've built is a culprits oscillator using a crystal for stability um, and the reason I've built it is purely so that I can actually check IFs on FM transmitters and receivers the current draw on on this is so minimal very simple little circuit now i've actually got a printout from the web of just about this sort of uh, device it's a culpitz crystal oscillator it's a very simple circuit you, you've got a single transistor now in my case i've used a bc547 which is um, British nomenclature. Um, the equivalent, I suppose, in the US would be a 2N quadruple 2, 2N2222 um, would work. Um, in this case, it would also 20, uh, 4265 would work. Um, really, this is just AOT, and um, AOT in engineering electrically radio terms is any old transistor so yeah th this is you know any old transistor will do the job i've essentially gone rock bound and um, again it's known rock bound because crystals are made from quartz quartz is a rock you find it in the ground it's rock bound and uh, it's a very stable signal i'm actually going to point you at the screen of my test equipment above the bench so that you can actually see the quality and stability of, of this piece of kit. I'm going to apologise now for the noise of the fans. Uh, as I said, it, it, it does get a bit windy uh, with the test equipment running. Right, so what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the board and all I've done is I've connected this scope probe to the emitter of this NPN transistor and I've connected it up to 9 volts off the power supply. The first screen you're actually looking at up here is the oscilloscope and um, it's a 100 mega oscilloscope and it's showing quite a dirty waveform. Um, the frequency count at the bottom is, is flicking around a bit and as you can see we've got quite a dirty waveform. Now there is an easy way to fix that and it's the way we've done it many times in the past we change the power supply for a battery and we don't bother using the mains and as you can see the actual uh, trace on the scope has cleaned up extremely well it's not a perfect sine wave it doesn't have to be it just has to generate a carrier the challenge was just to put it together and just to literally there it is on the board job done um, in the roughest possible way just to show that you don't have to work extremely hard to get something to oscillate. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the camera um, that's behind me and I'm going to move the scope probe as well. Now we can actually see what this transmitter is doing um, and let's be fair it is a transmitter. The top line is showing the frequency. Now as you can see it's as stable as you're going to get 
10.70002 flicking to 3 um, 0.99 milliwatts so not even a milliwatt just short just short of a, a milliwatt so I was in 990 microwatts um, and it's also showing you here that the deviation of the signal from a straight carrier in frequency wise is 0 0.01 of a kilohertz now if I switch it over to the AM mode you can show that the the carrier is not deviating in amplitude at all it is staying completely constant because that is showing a zero it's a reliable rock-solid little circuit so if you need to build any form of oscillator in any way um, to generate a frequency that has to be stable and, and realistically it has to be a one that you want to be stable as opposed to one that you want to be able to tune um, the Colpitts crystal oscillator is about the best circuit you can use this little circuit few junk box components and uh, away you go what are we talking here four resistors two capacitors a little trimmer a crystal and a transistor and something to mount it on and even then you don't need to mount it on anything you could have it floating in mid-air if you really wanted to build it like that so here we have a 10.7 meg crystal controlled IF checker which can be used on pretty much any sort of FM receiver I say FM because most of those have a 10.7 meg IF on FM um, so anything broadcast certainly anything broadcast within range of this bench um, visible range will certainly be suffering at the moment from very poor reception thanks very much for watching and we'll see you all again soon bye for now